fields in the village of Dafka, around 100 kilometers from Kathmandu, were barren until 18 months ago. Even though the Sunkoshi River flowed just meters away, villagers had no way to access the water. That's when Sudarshan Bhandari came to their aid. He installed an irrigation system. When I first came here, the soil was so dry and crumbly that the only thing the locals could grow was two crops of maize. Bhandari is a technician for a project run by Nepal's Department of Irrigation. The department has been trying to find a way to irrigate more than 400,000 hectares of land. In Dafka, Bhandari and his team built these tanks to store water from the river below. But there were more problems to tackle. This village didn't have electricity till three months ago and these massive solar panels were installed. Now, these panels can be maneuvered towards the direction of the sun and the direct current that it creates um, pumps the water to the tank. There are pipes that connect the, uh, the water from the tank to the village and gravity does the rest of the work. It's hoped this technology can provide a solution to a growing problem. The drying up of water sources across the Himalayan belt. Even though scientists are wary of attributing this phenomena to climate change, entire villages in Nepal are in danger of being forced to migrate. 83% of our land is in the hills and in the mountains, and most of the areas are not yet electrified. We now know we can use solar energy to tap water. If there is a river nearby, then we have no problem. But in areas where springs are drying up because of climate change, we can start storing water during the rainy season. Whenever there is a deficiency, we can lift up the water. The technology does not come cheap. Each hectare costs around $5,000 to irrigate. But it's a one-time investment, and farmers like Sukhmaya Maji have seen their lives change in a very short time. 18 months ago, Maji says she was forced to work as a daily wage laborer. Now she has enough vegetables to sell, and greenery around the village that has not gone unnoticed. Sabina Shreshta, Al Jazeera, Ramachap District in Nepal.